Seoul, South Korea, home to one of our favorite cuisines. Every year, people from all over the world flock over to Seoul for the good eats and shopping, among so much more. You can imagine we spent our two days here for the same reasons. In this video, we'll take you through some of our favorite iconic Korean good eats we got to taste in the bustling district of Myeongdong. Good morning from Seoul. It's our first morning here and it's very cold in the middle of January, so that's why we have our proper jackets on. We weren't trying to, but now we look like ketchup and mustard, which is not common for Korean styling. So we definitely stand out as the tourists. Yeah, everywhere we look, everyone is wearing black or more black. And we're the only ones with these crazy colors and we stand out like no tomorrow, but that's okay. Right now we are gonna go grab some breakfast. That's our first mission. I think for the majority of the video, it's going to be essentially a food tour because we're really excited to try Korean food. And right now we are going to look for a place called Isaac Toast. Now it's a huge chain and I'm sure some locals will say there's much better food. But for us, we've never tried Korean toast before. So that's our first stop. Let's go grab some breakfast. Hello. Can I order a 5 and 21? Perfect. Thank you. It is freezing. Uh, our hands are absolutely going to fall off any minute now. That's why it's, we've got some toast to warm them up. Ooh. Isaac toast. Smells so good. I think this one is the bulgogi. This is the one that Jason ordered. What? And this one that Lauren got is, um, what's it called again? Meat Pong. Meat Pong. Do, do we know what that is? No. Ooh. We're just gonna try it and see if it tastes good. We have no idea what it is. It has one layer of battered meat from what I can tell and some meatballs on top. I think all of them come with an egg as well. Fried egg sliced. I see, oh. she keeps it. Ooh. My. So yeah, mine, there's the bulgogi, you have the egg, you have cheese, you also have a bunch of cabbage and a really delicious looking sauce. The sauce is like barbecue for mine. Yeah, it's like super sweet. I think they're the same sauce. I wish there was a little bit more bulgogi, mm. but the egg flavor is spot on. It's amazing. There's actually a pickle in here. Yeah, I was gonna say. It was a nice surprise. are slowly coming back to life with this cup of black sesame latte in my hands and I'm gonna see how well it tastes. It looks so pretty on the top. Mmm, that tastes really good. If you've ever had black sesame stuff, there's like um like a really nutty and full body salty yet sweet flavor to it and it's so delicious. Jason has to try this. That's so sweet. <laughs> That's so good. It's so milky. I'm jealous now. I'm jealous now. So I got the condensed milk latte. Mm. It's definitely not as sweet, but you taste a lot more of the coffee. So I'm sure some of you who really like the taste of coffee will really appreciate it. When you go to places like Korea or Japan, you get to try so many different unique coffee flavors that we would never get in North America. We we're just walking through Myeongdong a little bit and Lauren picked up two different sunscreens because obviously with Korean cosmetics, it's probably the best in the world. And the sunscreens that we can find here, the really popular brands are a lot cheaper than what we can find at home. But now we're getting a little bit hungry, so we're trying to find this authentic Korean noodle house called... Myeongdong Kyoja. Myeongdong Kyoja. This is part of the Michelin Guide, actually. So we're really excited. We hear tons of great things. We actually had a couple of our friends recommended. So we're really excited. Let's go see what Kyoja has to offer. Oh, 
Oh, so the menu here is actually really basic, but it looks amazing. So there's only a total of four different dishes. So the first one here is a chopped noodle, 10,000 won. I think we're definitely gonna go for this one. One of the specialties. I think it's also hand cut. So the second thing we have here is the mandu. So you can kind of see here what's inside of it. I think we're also gonna go for this guy right over here. They have a spicy noodles, which seems to be cold noodles actually. And then lastly, we also have the soybean noodles. Something we read in the reviews, and it's very apparent as soon as we get here, is that the service is strictly efficient. They give you the menu, they expect you to order right away, and you pay as soon as you order. Then they leave you to be, and there's no diddly daddling. They're not going to get to know you while you're here. We also notice a lot of older folks dining here, and it's generally a good sign if you see older generations coming to dine here. So we're excited to try a more authentic version of Korean noodles and Korean dumplings. The mandu. Mm. The outer side, the wrapper of the dumpling is actually a lot thinner than what we have um, for Chinese dumplings, and the filling is really abundant. Noodles are so bouncy, they're chewy. Has great flavor from this, like, I think it's a uh, beef broth. Pretty sure that's beef. Get a little bit of uh, ground beef right on top. You can really taste the beefiness in the soup. It's pretty rich, but it's not overpowering in the grease. Got a little bit of these cooked onions in there. Mm, it really enhances the flavor. We also have these, like, little, I don't wanna say the mini wontons, but they might be mini wontons. We started noticing all of the street vendors coming out, getting ready for the night market here in Myeongdong. And I really wanted Jason to try this candy that I had last time I was here. It's a delicacy called Gultare, and it's also commonly known as Dragon's Beard Candy. And you guys will see why once we find a vendor. Welcome to Myeongdong. <laughs> you guys couple? Yes. Canadian beautiful couple. Thank you. <laughs> this match here, honey, honey. Honey, <laughs> and mix it up fermented one week, boiled and dry. Mm -hmm. Oh, very, very hard. hard. Super hard. And you guys guess what it is? I'm a magician. <laughs> this one? Is honey and... Okay. Oh, this one. <laughs> <laughs> no, this one is cornstarch, cornstarch. Cornstarch. Make <laughs> Oh, baby, one more time. <laughs> then, stretching, 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 stretching. How many strings become? 16,384 strings. So many. All handmade traditional cookie. Hmm. Canada, Myeongdong, collaboration power. <laughs> and Vancouver power. Toronto power. And you guys, where? Calgary. Uh, Calgary. Calgary power. <laughs> Cypress power. Tim Hortons power. <laughs> the weekend power, just to give a power, break power. <laughs> then, one, two, double. Hmm. Two double, four. Five, one, two, and then one, zero, two, four. Mm. Like two. Oh, wow. not yet, baby. Two thousand forty-eight. <laughs> Four thousand ninety-six. <laughs> Eight thousand one hundred ninety-two. Become how many spring? Become, become six thousand three hundred eighty-four spring. Wow. Like grandmommy hair. Yeah. Yes, right. <laughs> wahoo, 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 wahoo. Come here. I'm making. Chocolate flavor, chocolate Oreo chip inside. <laughs> rolling, rolling, rolling. Mm -hmm. Rolling, rolling. Finish, I love Canada. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's try this. Yeah, I'm going to really good. Was it not what you expected? No. So you still have part where he's like smacking it. It's really hard. That just like melts. It like melts. I don't know how though. I didn't expect that, but that's actually really good. Mm. I love the powdery texture from the cornstarch. And it just makes them just stick together so easily. It's 
and another brisk, chilly morning here in Seoul, where we're gonna go warm up with a hot cup of coffee and a nice pastry at Wonder Bread. We've heard a lot about this place. It's on a few different blog websites, and apparently those serve some really amazing pastries, and we heard the coffee is quite good as well. So we are a little bit hungry, so let's go grab some food before we go for a Korean barbecue lunch. I think we're gonna go for a garlic chapata. And then we're gonna do the custard cream for salt. I love that I usually get the first bite. I'm gonna try the chapata, so it comes in pre cut slices already. So delicious on the inside. All that garlic smeared every corner. Mm. It's actually really sweet, you guys. It's sweet, layered on the outside and on the inside, but the garlic butter helps contrast against that sweetness. On to the next one is the custard cream croissant. It's so pretty. I'm sure you've already seen it, but it's powdered on one side and then it's got a almond slices on the other. Mm. Mm. I usually don't love custard cream croissants, but usually it's a little too sweet for me. This one's just the perfect amount of creaminess, and the sweetness is actually mostly from the outside of the croissant. So we did manage to find a Korean barbecue place called Um Dyori. I think that's how you pronounce it, Korean barbecue. So it's 16,900 won per person, and it is all you can eat. We're absolutely starving here for lunch, so let's go and check it out. Okay, so to be honest, we don't really know what we're doing. So we've had some instructions on how to cook our meat, what goes on the burner, what doesn't, and what salads go with our dishes. So Jason has sort of figured it out. He's put some meat on the burner. We also have a kimchi soup that's been boiling in the center. It's kimchi and tofu. And then we also have a salad that's mixed with some sort of sauce as it gets some spicy red sauce. Then over here we have the lettuce that wraps up the meat along with some of the condiments. So we're really excited to dig in. There's a lot to be consumed right in front of us. Start with a little lettuce. I'm actually gonna go for the pork belly actually. The pork belly is gonna be a little bit fattier. I'm gonna dip it a little bit into our, uh, the salt mixture. Get a little bit of the sauce. Again, totally guessing how we're doing this. I ain't got no clue. But in this mixture, it's mainly green onion mixed with the sauce. Again, I don't know what sauce this is. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go one step further. I'm gonna toss in a little bit of this raw garlic to cut that fat a little bit here. The sauce. Mm, really makes it amazing. We didn't spend that much time here in Korea, a day and a half, but that's all it took for us to try a few authentic dishes that we wanted to have in this country. Right now, we're just waiting for a taxi to pick us up as we head over to the airport, over to the Philippines. 